Hello everyone, I'm Lauren Kana and welcome to another Lorcana Pixelborn gameplay video. Today I'll be prepping for this weekend's 1.7k online event by playing what I think I'm most likely to play, Ruby Sapphire Popsicle. While I found this deck to struggle against the aggro decks, I'm not expecting many of them and I believe this performs well into the slower side of the field. The draw engine of Hiram Flaversham and Popsicle let you control the late game Drawing into your high-end threats while Fishbone Quill, Heart of Defeaty, and One Jab Ahead build an insurmountable ink advantage. One downside of the deck is that it runs a very high count of uninkables, 18, but four of them need One Jab Ahead, and having Fishbone Quill as an outlet to ink some of them makes the deck play like it has a lower uninkable count. Let's dive into some games and see how it plays. Game one time against Ruby Amethyst, the big bad. I have found this matchup to be pretty good, but I've heard other people say it's not. So let's see what we can do with it. This hand, I'm going to keep one Maleficent for ink. One develop your brain at least to play on turn one. And since we have one jump ahead, I'll get rid of the other develop your brain too. I should have got rid of the Hades. Yeah, that was just a mistake. Hopefully that mistake doesn't punish me. My opponent inks a friends. And plays a Rafiki. I will ink one of these Tamatoas. And play develop your brain. I'm gonna grab a Madame Medusa. And I'll pass. Madame Medusa is pretty good against this deck. They're going to get a little ink advantage early with Rafiki and whatever they play this turn. But, or they'll get a lore advantage, but we'll get the ink advantage with one jump ahead. They ink a jump Hawkins and play a Cusco. The Duck Manor we might play next turn, so I will ink a Maleficent and play one jump ahead and pass. They ink their Queen's Castle. Looks like they're going to quest for two. And play a fox to bounce Rafiki. So they have five power on board, which is not enough to banish my McDuck Manor. So I'm going to just ink Tamatoa. Or would I rather be able to Medusa next turn? I think just getting something on board is important. So I'll play the matter and pass. They can't that way this turn, which is another reason why I went with the McDuck Manor. They ink the Rafiki, they bounce last turn, they play Queen's Castle. and challenge into my McDuck Manor. Interesting. Well, no, not really, because I don't have a character. I'm gonna just ink this Hiram, or Hiram, and let it go the fox. That way my McDuck Manor will survive another turn unless they have a Maui. They just have a rabbit. They ink a Maleficent. Challenge my McDuck Manor for one. And move Cusco to the castle. Pop 
Popsicle's interesting, because I could ink it to play a Madame Medusa. Or I could play it to see what I draw, with the ability to ramp with one jump ahead and not play Medusa this turn. If I play Medusa this turn, what am I banishing? Probably the Cusco so they don't get the extra card draw. I think the fact that this gets a 4-4 on board to start pressuring their queen's castle makes the difference. So they do get to draw a card from me banishing Cusco, but that's better than them drawing a card every turn. They ink a mini. Sing friends. Play a second castle. This is getting out of control. And move Rabbit to the castle. We need a Maui. Let's start with Develop Your Brain, so we can draw Maui. We can't. I think I just want to play out another McDuck Manor. Start challenging. I guess I challenge with the rabbit. This is the same decision as last time where I don't want them to be drawing a card every turn. And I'll play my McTuck Manor. This is a real race. They're one ahead and a turn ahead. So the onus is on me to answer the Queen's Castles on their end. They play a rabbit, they move it to the castle, and pass. Let's find the Maui. <laughs> or another McDuck Manor. Okay. I'll challenge the castle. I'll play a third player. And finally get to play this one jump ahead. And pass. I'm gonna guess that their rabbit will trade with my Medusa as a way of protecting their queen's castles. No, they just choose to get two more damage on one of my manors. And they play Jim Hawkins and a, a third queen's castle. At this point, I need to banish the Queen's Castle. Play Be Prepared. And let them, and really have to hope that they don't have a goat in their hand. If they have a goat, they win. If they don't have a goat, I win. I'll ink this fishbone quill just in case something weird happens. And I'll pass. I need them to not have a goat or a spellbook. Some of the Ruby Amethyst decks are playing spellbook again. They're not slamming it, which gives me hope. And that's a win. Alright, good start. I'll see you for game two. Game two against Ruby Steel, so against the pirate deck. On the draw again. Let's look at this hand. We don't need two be prepared. I'll save this for level for my first ink. Don't need this guest on and don't need two Hiram's. We really want some low plays.
Queen of Hearts is good. That'll help control the early game. As they lead on the Simba. What do they discard? They discard a Rise of the Titans. Good, I'm glad to see that gone. I will just ink Maui's Fishhook and pass. Rise of the Titans is one of their best cards against us. It banishes Fishbone Quill and McDuck Manor. Here they play a Robin Hood. I will ink a Maleficent. Play Queen of Hearts and banish Simba. They're probably going to play a shift Robin Hood and banish my Queen of Hearts, but I have to get things off the board somehow. They ink a Tinkerbell. And sure enough, they shift the Robin Hood. Alright, our turn. I'm going to ink a Fishbone Quill and play a Fishbone Quill. And I'm going to Fishbone Quill this one jump ahead and pass. My opponent with the Sumerian Talisman and the quest. Back to our turn. I could be up to six this turn. I think I'm going to... I'm just going to play one jump. going to ink Maleficent. I'm going to hold up this fishbone quill. Let's see what my opponent has now. They start by questing for two. And nothing. Well, I will ink a fishbone quill and play Hades. Hades the Robin Hood. They did miss an ink drop, so it's not free giving them two free ink, but I think it's better than be prepared in. Let's the Storm Rage on to draw a card and put two damage on my Hades. They ink a Maui and play a Tinkerbell. Okay, I'll lead on Popsicle. Do I want to play McDuck Manor or Hiram? Hiram. I will never get that right. I think McDuck Manor is what I want to play. And then I'll get on the board, questing for two. 
It all passed. They have six ink, they can play up to seven. If they have big tank, they can shift. Nope, oh, just in a long game, Zeus. Oh, but is it on Hades or McDuck Manor? Hades it is. Okay, so they're more scared of the character than the location. They do challenge into the location, but... You know, at nine willpower, they've got a ways to go. I will play here. Banish my popsicle. At this point, I feel pretty comfortable quilling one of my beat prepareds. It'll pass. They have a long King Zeus for my big duck manor, and then challenge with Tinkerbell. I will play Medusa, banish the Tinkerbell. Quest, I should have quested first. You always want to draw your cards before you make your plays, so I should have quested first. Thankfully it doesn't change anything. I'll just ink this Hiram. See that? I got it right this time. And pass. They ink a Queen of Hearts. What do they have on seven? Just play a Robin Hood. I will also ink a Queen of Hearts. And I will Hades their Robin Hood. And press for two. Tie up the score. They play Humble World, which I will gladly take. Got me into a fishbone quill so I can really leverage the cards. They play a Simba. What do they discard? They discard and be prepared. Play Queen of Hearts. And pass. So I've got a pretty big advantage on board. I'm gonna start by playing a Fishbone Quill. Quilling a Develop Your Brain. So I can play a Tamatoa. Get back the Popsicle. I will think Hiram. To play the Popsicle. And then I'll quest with Hiram. To draw some cards. And I'll question my other two characters. And pass. We're a pretty big advantage from here. They challenge it to my Medusa for two. 
To draw a card of scenario and talisman. Okay. Challenge for another one to draw another card. And they have to be prepared. Okay. Thankfully, our hand is just full of gas. They incur Robin Hood and pass. Okay, let's start by playing this popsicle. Scar, huh? They'll play a Gaston. Draw a Heart of Tefiti. With Fish Mountain Quill. Scar. I don't need two of those. To play another guest on. And I'll draw the McDuck Manor here. I'll pass. They along came Zeus and one of my guest dogs. And play a beast. Could I start with a popsicle? I will quest for three. I will play Medusa because her job is basically to banish beast tragic heroes. I'll play a McDuck Manor. I'll ink a Maui. And play a Heart of Defeaty. And pass. They have a bounty for my guest on. Rise of the Titans for my McTuck Manor. And they pass. Okay. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fishbone quill. This one jump ahead. So I can play Scar and Tomatoa. Tomatoa get back a popsicle. And do I want to challenge with Scar or Medusa? I think it's with Medusa. They have to answer Tapatoa this turn. They start by inking Tinkerbell. And we cast in a whole new world. They have six ink left, and they have to answer Tomatoa. They've already played an ink this turn, so they can't be prepared. Tinkerbell does one damage, but they're out of ink now. So all I have to do is play this Popsicle. And a quest of Tomatoa. Alright, and I'll see you back for game three.
We're here for game three against Ruby Amethyst again. Sorry if I sound weird. I have a really congested nose. Just a sinus infection. Let's look at this hand. We have a Popsicle and a one jump ahead to play turn three Hiram. To do that, we need ink. So I'm going to send Medusa and Scar back. Can I make Duck Manor and I'll let it go. They ink up Mini to play a Rafiki. I can ink develop your brain to get a popsicle down and pass. They ink a second Mini to play Cusco. Best for one. I will ink Tamatoa. I could get the free banish with Queen of Hearts. Actually, I think I will do that. It slows down my high run by a turn, but that's okay. I'll pass. They ink up Adam M. Snake <laughs> to play Maleficent. And they quest for one with Cusco. Well, I'll take my free banish, even though it gives them a card. I'm going to ink Let It Go so I can play a Popsicle. And one jump ahead. And I'll pass. My opponent sings friends, and I'm gonna guess this is a fox. Nope, just a goat. Okay, I think I get my third character with this one Queen of Hearts. I'll play a hero, Hiram. Told you, I'll never get it right. Draw some cards. Ink this time a Toa. And pass. My opponent inks a second goat and plays the queen's castle and moves there. And chooses not to quest. It's almost like they know I have a Hades. Or not a Hades, a uh, Maui. Well, what I'll do is I'll ink Tamatoa. I will play the Maui. And both Maui and Hiram are going to challenge the Queen's Castle. And I'll pass. A Maui of their own challenges into my Hiram. Let's see. I'm going to start by playing a Popsicle. I'll play McDuck Manor, and Maui will trade for Maui. And I'll pass. They have another Maui. Okay. Well, I will ink this fishbone quill because it's time to start answering their characters again. Hades will answer Maui and I'll pass.
They play a rabbit. Ink and Ariel. Play a fish hook. That and pass. Huh. I'm at seven ink. I can't do two things, regardless of what I do. Unless I draw ink with Gaston. I do draw ink, but these are all good cards. I think I have enough removal that I don't need the Maui. I don't need the fish hook. I'm gonna take the McDuck Manor. And I'm gonna quest for two. And pass. I put on his dragon fire for my guest on. And they trade with my Hades. And quest for one. Okay, I'm gonna ink this fish one quill to play Medusa. And one jump ahead. And I'll pass. My opponent plays their own Medusa, which doesn't get to banish mine. I will quest for one. I'm gonna play Gaston with the hopes of getting some ink. Sure, I'll take a Maleficent. I will ink one of the Maleficents so I can play Big Duck Manor. And pass. They can deal six to my McDuck Manor. Or seven. This gives plus three. But seven is not nine. If they have a third Maui, they can easily take out my McDuck Manor, but they have already played two. They quest for one and be prepared. Okay. My turn. I think I just pass. I've got this manner in play. I have three reactive characters. We can't both just pass the game because I will win with my manner if we do. They play a friends and a Rafiki and a Vinny. And a snake. Pick up the mini, replay the mini. Okay. I will play out a fish one quill. And I'll play Medusa. Banish the snake. And pass. My opponent plays a friends. And a crab. This is six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And they quest with many. I will banish the Rafiki. And I'll play a dragon and banish the crab. And I'll pass. The ink of fox. 
play there on Maleficent? Yep. I will play a Hades. Hades and Maleficent. And quest for one. I put on quest for one and please another be prepared. And then a Rafiki. I'm just gonna play this fishbone quill and pass. We'll probably quest for one next turn and then I can Queen of Hearts it down. Start with develop your brain. Draw Hiram. Play Hiram. Banish a popsicle. Scar and Tamatoa. Those are some good cards. I'll play Queen of Hearts. Banish to Rafiki. And pass. I play a second mana Medusa to banish my Hiram. And a quest for one. Interesting. I think I quest for one. I fishbone quill my scar. I play be prepared. And then I play Hiram. And I'll pass. Or actually I'll quill this what's the bad. And then I'll pass. My opponent plays a Pinocchio and a snake. Just leaves the snake in play. I'll start by questing and drawing. And then I'll play a Tomatoa and a McDuck Manor. Let's see if my opponent can get out of this. They fish hook down the Hiram. Play another snake. Play a Pinocchio. And another snake. So here I'll start by playing a popsicle. I'll quest for three. Get back a popsicle. Play a popsicle. And I will play Maleficent for one of the snakes just so they don't have an easy banish on my Tamatoa. Pass. And they concede. That brings us to 3-0. I'll see you for game 4. Game 4 against Blue Steel. I think this is supposed to be a very good matchup. <laughs> We are, of course, once again on the draw. This hand looks pretty perfect, honestly. 
Hopsicle on one, jump ahead on two, Hiram on three. I'll just keep it. My opponent inks a Hiram and plays a Captain Hook. I will also ink a Hiram to play a Popsicle and pass. My opponent inks a Rabbit Hood, plays a Mamanui, and passes. They're scared of that fleet of hearts that I don't have. I'll ink a Develop Your Brain and play one jump ahead. They ink and ink wild to play Popsicle. And plus for one. I will ink Maleficent and play a Hiram. And pass. They ink another Rabbit Hood. Play a Hiram of their own. And quest for one. So here I'm going to ink a Let It Go. I'm going to play a Heart of Tefiti. Gonna activate it and then quest. And draw two cards. And I'll pass. They ink a Hercules. Play an Ink Wild, get back the Popsicle. Play the Popsicle. Do some questing. They get a quest of hook? Yes, okay. Good, because I want to scar next turn. I'll banish my, or I'll ink my fishhawk to play a scar. Scar banishes Hiram and Scar banishes Captain Hook. And I will quest for one and pass. Oh, I could have taken out my Tanui. I just didn't even think about it. It's a mistake on my end. And now uh, they have a Hades or a Let It Go, it looks like. Oh, or and then I'll give Zeus. Let's start by Madame Vin Let's see. I can get up to seven or eight nine, which is enough. If I ink this develop your brain. Play a fishbone quill. Ink this. I guess let it go. I can play Medusa to banish Nick Wild. I 
and I will put one damage on Mountain Dewey. And pass. My opponent plays the Cogsworth. And a small Robin Hood. Moves them both to Montanui. But that's okay because I'm gonna just challenge down Montanui. I will play a Gaston. Get a popsicle. Play a popsicle. Quest with high rank. Draw two cards off my popsicle. Play develop your brain. I think I'd rather have a Maui. And I'm just gonna pass here. They shift a Robin Hood. They play a big duck banner. And you grab your swords. Twice, okay. Let's fish bomb quill. Atomatoa, Ink Queen of Hearts. And quest to draw some cards. Okay, I will Hades the Robin Hood and play another Hiram and pass. There's a Tinkerbell and a second McDuck Banner. This is looking pretty bad, but hopefully this Maui can do something. Maui and his fish hook is a good draw. We'll play Maui. I'll play his fish hook. I'll give Maui plus three. Maui will banish a McDuck Manor. And then all three of my characters will work together to banish the Cogsworth. And I'll pass. They can get up to 19. I just have to... Oh. Okay, so now I have to answer everything.
and I can't. So that's going to be a win for my opponent. I still am feeling good. We'll go into game five. Game five, mirror match. Are we going to be on the draw again? No, we get to be on the play for once. Okay, we've got ink. We need some lower drops. I'm gonna do this. One jump ahead is good. Was looking for a popsicle, but we'll figure it out. I'll draw the fish hook and pass. They get time to and play develop your brain. I will ink Katamatoa and play one jump ahead. The ink Queen of Hearts. Let's play another develop your brain. And the Shield of Virtue, a card I'm not playing. I think here I just ink this Queen of Hearts. I don't really want to fish hook here, but I think it's my best play. Yeah, I the fish hook is never one you really want to banish, but I just need the cards at this point. They've got a fish bomb well, so they're gonna start getting ahead on ink. I can ink a Queen of Hearts. Play a Hiram. Banish my fish hook. And pass. They ink Gravitella. And something else. To play a Hiram. Banish their shield. Big Duck Commander is good. Yeah, I'm going to ink another Queen of Hearts, play McDuck Manor, and one jump ahead. And I'll quest for one. They ink another Gramatala, play the Maui, to banish my Hiram. They ink something with their fish mouth will and play a heart of Tafiti. At quest, I'm gonna guess banish and the fish mouth quill. Yep. Be prepared. Yeah, that's probably better than Hades. And pass. They play another Hiram. So they're back out their card draw. They ain't gonna let it go. And pass. Do I want to play Gaston or Heart? I think just Gaston. I'll grab a Maleficent. And 
and I think I'll let it go. They play a Tamatoa, which we will banish the next turn. Get back a shield and play it. Uh, quest it, draw some cards. And play a Develop Your Brain. They ink a Maui, which is something I like to see because Maui is the only good answer to McDuck Manor. I will play Hades, banish the Tomatoa, or send it to the Inkwell, and ink my Heart of Defeaty. And quest for three. They need to be prepared here, but they also need to answer my McDuck Manor. They have a lot of cards. They have a Maui, which challenges Gaston. They have a Popsicle. They quest for one and draw more cards. They're way ahead on cards, but I'm enough ahead on lore and I still have a bit of a board that I'm just hoping this, this is enough. Oof, Hades is rough. Fishbone quill, huh? I think I need Maleficent the Hades. And I'll just ick the Fishbone quill. Maleficent answers for Maleficent. And Nick Wild gets back a popsicle. Okay, my turn. Up uh, Maui. That's alright. Maui, banish Hiram. Play a second with Duck Manor and pass. So Maui has to decide if it wants to banish my Maui and trade or banish one of my palaces. Everything goes after my palaces. They do a lot of stuff. Draw even more cards. Let it go my Maui. I need to be prepared. Scar's not quite be prepared. But it's also not far off.
answer both of their two lore characters and pass. They've had this high realm combo going much longer than I have. It's been a problem. They're just flooding the board. But I still have be prepared. So we need to draw a be prepared. Could still be a be prepared. It's a fish hook. They only have five, so we have another couple turns where we could draw be prepared. Do a bunch of questing, try the more cards, play a lucky dime. A lot of these decks I play lucky dime, and I just feel like it's went more. So I cut it from my list. Yeah, look at that difference. They have outdrawn me by 21 cards. And from here, I will concede. I'll see you back at the deck for final thoughts. Alright, I went 3-2 with this deck, which, while not the record I had hoped for, was still a winning record, so I can't be too mad. What upsets me the most, though, is that replaying the matchup with Blue Steel in my mind, I'm pretty sure that had I remembered to challenge Motani with Scar that one turn, I think I would have won the game. That's why you practice, though, so that you can get the misplays out of your system and improve. I plan on playing this deck in tomorrow's 1.7k, so follow me on Twitter if you want to know how that goes. If you enjoyed watching today's video, please give it a like and subscribe. I normally put out new videos two to three times a week. This week I ran into some issues, though. Thanks for watching!